Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the tower in the reverse, and this is Mars energy, Scorpio, Aries energy. So in the reverse, this is an energy of something happened already for this connection, something major, something uh, quite transformative, and it, it may have even been perceived as negative. It could have been like an abrupt ending, a breakup, or some shocking news came to the light. But with this in the reverse, it's like even after that, there's still this lingering feeling of unfinished business. Um, there's this energy of wanting to address what happened, wanting to address the white elephants in the room. Um, this can even be, um, you know, an energy of repair. The potential for repair is being made present. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands, fire energy, the Three of Wands, fire energy, and the Star. Aquarius energy so yeah whoever you're dealing with they think quite highly of you they do see you as someone that they're very attracted to and they desire strongly with the queen of wands they may also view you as someone who's confident and they like your personality like this is someone who likes who you are on a deep level like your your essence um but they also may see you as someone who has a lot of admirers you know they see you as someone who attracts a lot of attention and someone who they they really miss you know they, they they want something here they like this is someone who wants to restore their connection with you they feel like you're a bit distant um they may feel like you're hard to reach or inaccessible right now and they also feel like they can't directly approach you for some reason with the star and the three of wands like there's distance but they feel like they have to just wait they have to wait for you okay so let's clarify these cards aries Okay, we have the seven of wands and this is fire energy sagittarius aries leo energy so this is an energy of um wanting to fight for something wanting to make something work feeling like this connection at the moment it's not on, in, a, in a good place this person does feel like the connection that they may have built with you is under threat and they're still willing to fight for it you know they, they want to protect this union okay so let's see Okay, we have this Five of Swords in the reverse, Air Energy, the Knight of Wands, Fire Energy, and the Six of Wands, Fire Energy. Okay, so this person is gaining the confidence, the courage to approach you because they do actually want to reconcile with you. The Five of Swords in the reverse is a, an energy of wanting to come back together and make peace, wanting to approach you with good intentions. And with the Six of Wands, they are hoping they'll be successful. Um, you have this person's full attention. Um, you are someone that this person really wants to be with. Like you're the, the ideal person. You're a prize to this person. And they are aware that they would have to make some sort of an effort that they can't just sit around waiting and hoping for this to work out. They have to actually take action. That's how they're viewing the situation. And with the five of swords, it does look like there will be a reconciliation with this person. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Aries. Okay, we have balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces.
okay, we have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So you could be currently separated. And they are ready to end the separation. This is someone who's hoping that the separation is not permanent. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card. Okay, we have Bellflower, Gratitude. Gratitude makes sense of our past, brings peace for today, and creates a vision for tomorrow. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, um, Aries. Okay, we have surrender stress. Take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Aries. I hope you have a really, really good day, Aries. Bye, Aries.